Hello everybody and welcome back to the railway once again. Now recently I've been doing quite a lot of reviews and unboxings and things like that. So today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. And that's Railmaster. I've got Railmaster running again. And I thought I'll play you a program. Uh, I've been busy programming uh, a load of locomotives to have a little automated um, running session I suppose. Um, and it's great because it means I can move around. Um, I don't have to worry about controlling the locomotives. Um, I can just move around, film them, I might uh, play it a few times for you so you can see it from a few different angles. Um, but I'm going to show you all the stuff that I'm going to be using so that you know what's going on. I'll start by showing you the locos. So first we've got everybody's favourite, or nearly everybody's, um, the A4 Gadwell, or Gadwell, whichever it is. Um, very famous class of locomotive of course, the A4s. Um, with TTS sound in this case, pulling some teak coaches. We've also got one of the locomotives I like, uh, which is the County Class, County of Cornwall. Of course, running on DCC with a big rake of Triang and Hornby wagons, all with modern modern wheels, with the garden stones. On the other track, we've got the P2, Clock of the North, also with TTS sound. Uh, lovely loco, pulling the set of Pullman coaches. And finally, on the same line as the P2, we've got the G2A, which is an 080 locomotive that I showed a while ago, pulling a nice new, oh they are new, rake of coaches, no coaches, uh, wagons of course. Uh, I'm going to do a video separately on those, so I'm not going to talk too much about those now, but that's what we've got going on there. And as I showed before, when I made the automating the layout video, I've got a stereo sound system set up, um, which means that I can... I can place announcements from certain locations, so stereo speakers, obviously two channels, one behind there, the other speaker is over there. Now of course if I play audio through separate channels, I can make the sound come from here or over there, uh, just by playing through the one channel. So what we've got is this receiver just here, which receives audio from the computer which has its transmitter just there. The signal from here is then amplified and sent out to the two speakers. Um. So we can create the illusion that the sound's either coming from this station or that station over there. Um, so I can do some announcements and things like that. So they're all programmed into the little program. Um, as well as all the different sounds and things that the locomotives are going to play, so you should hear some coal shoveling and things like that. Um, it's a little ensemble, so all four locomotives are going to be running. Let's see if I can do this. Where is it? Here we go. There's the program. That's what a program looks like. You won't be able to see it in a lot of detail. In fact, any detail, so we'll get rid of that straight away. Um, and I'm going to play it. We'll perhaps go through it a couple of times for you. Um, I'll set the camera up in a few different places, sometimes on the tripod, sometimes down at track level. Uh, but for now, I think I've done enough talking, so let's get going. Right, so it's all set so that the loco should end at the same place which they all start. So, you can, uh, you can all assess me on how good I was at that. Of course, they're a little bit unpredictable, they always stop in slightly different places. Um, having started from exactly the same spot but you know you could do the show perhaps six or seven times before they're miles out and then it's just a case of manually adjusting them into the right spot but for now I'm going to turn the sound on to both locos which use it there we go and I'm going to run the program the P2 clock of the North locomotive is now ready to leave the east station please board now and have a safe journey thank you Please 
実行法があるバスに何段階に直るように一歩にしたって。Oh, there's no brake van on the back of that. I'm sorry if that's made anybody cross. <laughs> I don't like changing the wagons though because it alters the weight. I suppose it wouldn't make a lot of difference. The truck at the north locomotive has pulled the train and now preparing to leave the country station. Please board now. Thank you. And that's the cock of the north back in her starting point. She's just adjusting as you can see, very slightly adjusting. And there she is. And that's within about an inch I'd say. Here comes the county class. Hopefully going to stop just before that point or just afterwards as it will probably turn out. She probably wants a little bit of time knocking off. But let's see. Any time here really. About there. There you go. Just on the point. Not bad. Well, that seems to have done it. That does seem to have done it. Of course, the G2A is a little bit further, a uh, bit further back. That's con that's quite common. Um, I'm going to adjust her before we do it again. The A4 is just about right as well. I'm just going to move her back for the sake of it, very slightly. Uh, and I'm going to drive the G2A forwards very, very slightly as well. And then we'll run it again for you. Well, it worked very well, to be honest. So I'm going to tempt fate, as I said, and I'll do it again. And I'll sit in the middle over there, and I think we'll just use one camera. And I'll talk about what's going on and what should be happening, <laughs> besides what does happen. If it does it like it's just done it, it should be very successful. But we'll see. Right, let's try it again. Sometimes we skip the first announcement, but... Nope, we've got it. Right, let's see what happens. Let's move into the middle. Should be the P2 moving first, as you heard. There you go. And before it arrives, the freight train should get out of its way. So let's see. You'll hear an announcement first. There you go. There we go, so that's out the way. And Gadwell goes as well. Now the G2A, no sorry, the Cock of the North should come and stop. The Loco should be about at this bridge. There we go, see? Now that Loco's off county class and she will now nothing else happens until she gets to the station this station so once she arrives there then it carries on it's like a checkpoint because the way I like to program it means that they don't sort of get too close to each other so they have to wait till the other one's at least half a lap away before it starts that way, if anything goes wrong, I can always stop it. Uh, it's a wheel slip, but you'll notice she stops perfectly at the station. I've accounted for that wheel slip. 
Now the cock of the north gets going. And the G2A should move out of the way. There we go. And the Gadwell should go as well. And she's out of the way. There you go. And now the county of Cornwall starts the last journey, which takes her right back to her starting point. And then the G2A should come under the bridge. There you go. Sorry, under the bookshelf. Book and she'll come and slow down here. And hopefully when she gets to her signal, her point, she'll stop there. But she tends to stop earlier. So we'll see. She just seemed to carry on. Let's see what time we're at. We wanted her to stop about five seconds ago. About 80. 80 odd. Which is still going. So I need to sort that out. Right. And she doesn't stop. And that's interesting. Right, let's have a look. Let's find out why she didn't stop. So, if I turn this iris down, we're looking for when the G4900 stops. It should be set to stop. Let's have a look. Go down. Oh. That needs to be a loco. 164. Perhaps that's why. Right, that's set up. But let's look at the rest. So this is actually exactly where she's supposed to stop, in the county of Cornwall. She's supposed to stop just before this, this point, so maybe she could be a little bit further forward. I tend to start her about there. But that's almost bang on. Right, moving on. Cock of the North is supposed to be just where she is. Just on that point. But really more there, but it's really, really minimal. Gadwell this time is a little bit further back than I like it to be. I like the front end of her to be at the end of this station. And as we know the G2A has gone a bit too far, so we'll bring her back. And it's very easy, all we'll do is start her off in the reverse direction. And then when she gets where she wants to be, we will stop and just inch her back very slightly until I'm happy, about there, and then forward a tad, and that way all the wagons are tight, and that's just another way I make sure it's constant every time. So there you have it, a quick run with Railmaster, working very nicely, it's a lot of fun to create. So, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.